Good morning, everybody. It is the next day, and uh, I'm out here heading out with Greg for a day of snake hunting slash turtle hunting slash whatever we can get into, but it's super foggy this morning. Look at that. Should be nice and warm today, and about as good as it's going to get for December, so we're going to head out to a spot that I have not spent too much time, but I know there's a lot of snakes at, so we'll see what we can get into. All right, guys, we're here with our first find of the day, which is a stroller in the woods. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Don't know uh, why there's a stroller in the woods, but I would be lying if I said that's not weirding me out a little bit right now. No baby in there? No baby in there. All right, so the big goal today is to see a king snake, but we'd be happy with anything. It is December after all, so we're gonna be walking around in this nice hardwood pine mixed forest with a, a nice watery component. There's a lot of water in this area, lots of swamps and stuff. So hopefully we'll find some snakes. It's not a great look, but there is a large American alligator right there as our first herp of the day. You can see him in the water, just swimming along. And right there is yet another alligator. Another one off that corner up there. Oh yeah, there sure is. That one's huge. That's a big one. Look at that. You yeah. see his, his head right there. That's an alligator head. All right, well, here's our first in-hand herp of the day. Nice big broadhead skink I just flipped under a piece of wood. But these are our largest skink species. And they get quite a bit bigger than that, so that's not even a full-grown male. But it's a, still quite a big lizard. Definitely not your average five-line skink. Beefy, beefy, beefy. I'll put him back under his cover and we'll keep at it. It's already like borderline hot out here, so I don't know how good today is gonna be, but we'll see. Here's a nice little narrow mouth party. We got five or six of them under here. There's another one right there. These guys are super common in this area. I'm sure we'll probably see more, but I'm assuming they're so dense here because there's all these ants that aren't fire ants. I'm assuming they're native. All right, little dudes. Back under your piece of wood here. There's our first snake of the day. An eastern ribbon. Let me get a quick photo in and we'll see if we can grab him. This guy is just chilling so far. Look at that. Very nice. Good to get on the board. Hopefully there will be more snakes to come. There's our next snake of the day. Big brown water snake down there. Well, that thing just decided to turn around and go into the water, so hopefully we'll see another one. All right, here's another smaller brown water snake. This one should be a little easier to catch. Well, I was wrong about that one too. The instant I approached it, it slipped into the water, so eventually we'll get one. <laughs> All right, Greg is doing his thing. He spotted a turtle. Well, kind of like a slider butt. Yeah, it's a little... It's a little yellow belly slider. Sure enough. You can see there is a, I mean, I don't think it's too much of a stretch to say that that's a nine or 10 foot alligator over there. And then this guy we just caught. Nice little yellow belly slider. But we've been seeing a lot of these guys mostly basking in the distance. So we'll just release him and keep on with our day. But it's getting really toasty out here. And uh, we've been having a little bit of a tough time actually finding snakes and then getting them in hand. So. Stuff's been a little bit flighty so far. <laughs> so clumsy. Right back to where you got him. That's a way better than average southern cricket frog. Really good looking with the uh, green speckles. All right. Oh, baby cotton mouth. Yeah, look at this. We got narrow mouths, tons of narrow mouths. And I didn't notice that guy initially. Grumpy little baby cottonmouth. Look at all these potential snacks for him under here. Look at this grumpy little dude. Well, as the trend has gone today, that cottonmouth escaped into the log or the, the railroad car, or whatever that thing was. So we flipped him next to. Well, he wasn't even flipped. He was 
just kind of crawling along next to it and I didn't notice him at first. But yeah, snakes are out. So hopefully we can turn some more stuff up. We're gonna keep hitting this area a little bit more. Well, there's our next snake of the day. It's a pretty obvious one. <laughs> Look at that. That is really cool. All right. Yeah, let's see if we can. Look at that guy. Very nice. Well, these guys have been strangely absent over the last couple of weeks. They tend to be one of the more common snakes we see in the winter for whatever reason. But that is a good looking individual and just a really weird way to find one, just kind of crawling up a, a bush in the middle of the random floodplain. Um, I've seen green snakes here before, but was not expecting to see one just out climbing around like it's not December. This guy is actually really vibrant, his belly especially. His green is a little bit dull, but it might just look a little dull because his belly is just so yellow. Almost looks like a Florida rough green. All right, we're gonna put this guy back in this little bramble pile that he was originally crawling around in. We'll see what he does. Now he wants to sit still. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's any other snakes in store for us. Not a half bad day so far. All right, I see our next herp of the day. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain to get a look at. We're gonna see what we can do. There's a green tree frog right there. That is really cool. I don't know how much of Greg's narration y'all could hear, but we were looking at these baby alligators and there was also a plain-bellied water snake basking right here, but the plain-bellied water snake sucked back in the hole and then the baby alligator ran out into the water and then we started noticing more baby alligators. There's at least two right there and then the mother. But we're just gonna give this mama her space and uh, keep on herping, see what else is out. Well, that was a nice flip. There's our second cottonmouth of the day, under a log. Beautiful little guy. And the cottonmouths out here are ornery. That last one was, was so like, just grumpy and spooky that I didn't want to risk getting bit trying to prevent him from getting away. We'll try to get this guy to a more secure spot and we'll get a little bit more video of him though, look at that. <laughs> I'm being chased. So we lost the smaller cottonmouth. I'm still hopeful we'll find him, but I found the bigger one in the process of looking for the smaller one. <laughs> well, today has kind of been a monumental failure in the uh, actually getting video of snakes department. Um, because, like I said, we're going to try not to lose that one, and then that's exactly what we did. We lost it, and at least we found another one in the process. But there was just so much going on right here, and then we found that second cottonmouth and got distracted. Just a weird situation, but beautiful little snake. Both of, all the cotton mouse we've seen today have been pretty. So we're currently making our way back to the car though and might be wrapping up here shortly because it is getting late and we're getting hungry. So we might poke around a little bit more if we see any good stump holes, but if not, we might be wrapping up today pretty soon. That is ridiculously warm for December, but it's been a pretty good day. All right, everyone, well, we gave it a little bit more of an effort this afternoon, but have not seen anything for a couple hours. I think it's just that point in the day where stuff decides to give up and go back underground, wait for the next warm day. So not bad, but not quite as good as the last outing. But I mean, any day with snakes in December is a great day. So we'll probably wrap this one up. And uh, I don't think I have enough for a full episode yet, so I'm gonna probably include tomorrow too. So. Hopefully tomorrow will go well. I'll see you guys then. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day and we are down in the Georgia Coastal Plain getting ready to do a full day of hiking. And then I'm gonna be camping down here tonight and I might get out a little bit and herp tomorrow too, but uh, it's possible that it's gonna end up raining. Um, but for now, we're gonna get out into habitat. It feels fantastic today. It's gonna be a little bit similar to yesterday and then I think it's gonna be largely sunny. It's pretty sunny right now. A little bit of cloud cover over there but other than that it's looking pretty blue so the big thing i want to see today is an eastern diamondback they have been very very difficult for me to find in habitat in this part of georgia in fact this is the part of the state that i took my first herping trip to when i was a little kid with my dad 
And uh, I have still only found one diamond back here in Habitat, and it was my lifer. So it's been a long, long time since I've seen one of these awesome snakes in Habitat. And uh, we're going to try to remedy that today. I don't have any reason to believe that today would be any better than any other day I've been out here and not found one. But, I mean, you never know. It's a numbers game. It's just about covering as much habitat as you can in the right conditions and eventually you'll get lucky so we'll see what we can do there is a corn snake it's kind of hard to see because he's down in these bushes but uh i'm kind of make out his pattern and you see his tail there gotta give myself a little credit here that would have been a very easy snake to miss i uh saw this tortoise burrow and was walking around just making sure there isn't anything curled up in these yuccas here and sure enough there's that guy let's see if we can get a better look at him now that is cool another super dark corn snake the last corn snake we found was also super dark look at that that is so awesome what a great way to start the weekend beautiful that was a great example of why clouds are so important because if the sun was still out and it had, it had only very recently become cloudy, if the sun was still out, I don't think I would have seen that snake. There would have been too much contrast in the shadows of that yucca and I never would have seen him. So yeah, big W, first snake of the day. Nice looking corn snake. Very, very, very dark, very unique looking. What a beauty. Super cooperative too, just coiled right up for photos. Now I'm gonna let him go back into his yucca. This thing is not nearly as camouflaged as a diamond back would be either. So just goes to show just how cryptic snakes can be. There you go. Enjoy your nice warm winter day. This is corn snake burrow, but uh, you're actually able to see the tortoise back in there. This cloud cover really came in clutch. Hopefully it'll stick around for the rest of the day. But uh, yeah, it's going pretty well so far. One snake and we've only been out here for about an hour. So it feels fantastic. This habitat feels fantastic. We'll see what we can get into. Well, weirdly enough, that is the first lizard we've seen all day. Nice little green knoll who just like completely disappeared. How's it going, dude? That's not something you want to see. This gopher tortoise got clobbered by a train, I'm assuming. Really cool to see such a nice shell though. It's entirely possible that this guy was not even killed by getting hit by the train, but rather he could have, uh, you know, tumbled off of that and flipped upside down and just got stuck like that and couldn't get back right side up. Or the train could have knocked him upside down. That's possible too. But uh, I don't think it's a coincidence. I've seen two of these along the railroad track so far. By the way, it is now 2 p.m. and we have still seen the one snake. <laughs> and that was at like, I think about 1045. So one quality snake early and absolutely nothing since. All right, everybody. Well, I think I'm gonna be wrapping up here shortly. I am camping down here tonight and I'll probably get out a little bit tomorrow, but uh, whether or not that ends up in a video depends on whether or not I find anything. But yeah, it's been a really, really great couple of days. Um, you know, this is the type of thing that we can expect to happen in winter. It's just never really predictable when it's going to happen. All I know is that when it comes, it can be some of the best herping of the year. And that has definitely been the case the last couple of days, so. Hopefully we'll have some more nice winter weather coming our way soon, but in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.